it's pre-season games. <laughs> Legs are tired. You're not, you're not used to playing full 80 minutes as yet, you know? I started uh, rugby when I was 13 and uh, I was playing for uh, the Cheetahs from a very young age. It's a small town in uh, South Africa or in Bloemfontein, a uh, small franchise or it's a relatively big franchise. Um, so I started taking the game seriously when I went to high school and uh, I was with a coach that uh, that believed in uh, my capabilities and believed in our team. So uh, worked all the way through the junior ranks of the Cheetahs. And um, by the time I was 19, I got uh, uh, a call up to the senior side. And the end of that year, I got to tour with the Springboks. So yeah, that's been literally the journey for me starting the year as uh, just coming out of high school and in that year being on tour with the Springboks. No, I have a, I have a lot of memories. I mean, uh, it's it's a place I called home for a very long time. Um, well, since I was I was 10 or 11, and uh, I left uh, the Cheetahs when I was 25, or no, not 25, or 24, and uh, so it's, been, it's a place that I've been there a very long time, and they're passionate about their rugby. It's a great place to play. You enjoy your rugby there. So I have a lot of great memories there, but uh, obviously all good things must come to an end. And uh, now, uh, oh, there's a saying I always say, um, the, the only constant in life is change. So I think now I had it needed a bit of change and I'm here and I want to make the best of it. Yeah, it was really different. I think uh, the, the Super Rugby and Kai Cup is really fast. You know, you get used to a certain intensity and I think uh, in the Pro 14 there was not not all the teams were at that same intensity. There's a few teams in the Pro 14 that can really play quick, but the teams I played against, I don't think it was that quick. They're very physical, I must say. So I think that was the difference for me. The, the, the intensity wasn't as quick, the teams that I did play, but the game was very physical, and I mean, that's what we enjoy. Oh, franchise, yeah. <laughs> More bloodied up. No, Swayze, uh, Swayze is, is, he's always been one of my mentors. I think when I got to the, the team um, as a very young guy, Swayze was already a senior in the team, you know, so they sort of took me under the, in, under the wing and told me that I, I should believe in myself, you know, that, um, that I'm there for a reason. And he's always backed me and I always backed him. So, yeah, Swayze and I go a very long way. With the yeah, the under twenties, yeah, I think it's uh, the only time the South Africa has won the under twenties. Uh, I think it was in 2012. Uh, we had managed to beat the All Blacks in the final at home, or we were expected to win it, and we did win it. Uh, it was it was it was a great tournament. I think it's it, it's a platform for all these kids to come through, you know, and and start off their professional careers, you know, in under twenty. You already have a taste of international rugby. Yeah, against Argentina, yeah. <laughs> Last year, I managed to play seven seven games with the box. Uh, uh, close to the end, end, end of the, the year, the, I wasn't being picked as much, but I was, I was in the squad. And uh, this year, um, well, new coach, new system and whatnot, and it didn't seem like I was in his plan. So um, every coach has his man, and I think I'm just not his, but that's life, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm excited. I'm. I feel like a, a kid again, coming into a new competition. I mean, a lot of this is unknown. You know, I think in Super Rugby, I, I knew what was coming, who's bringing what, and everything. So this is really unknown to me, and I just want to make the best of it. I think I'm putting myself under new pressure, or well, not really pressure, but putting you know, new goals for myself and new things that I want to achieve. So I think, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like a kid again playing rugby, so I'm enjoying that. No, it was, it was great. I mean, coming from a smaller town or a smaller team and then going to a Stormers, uh, which is in a bigger town, obviously more support. There's something different as well, you know. Um, I'm big on this whole change thing. And, you know, you go there and just try and make the best of it. We didn't have the 
the season we would have wanted to. I mean, we had a lot counting against us. But I think the boys have a different mindset now, and I'm sure next year they're going to make a, a great success of the whole thing. <laughs> um, we, what happened was, uh, as, as soon as the season was still going on, uh, um, you, I figured that I was not in the coach's plan, you know, and at some stage you realize that you need a change. And, you know, when, when two things just work, work, work out the way they were supposed to work out, I think, uh, um, I've spoken to a lot to our coach, coach Steph and, and he, he, he always mentioned that he always used to watch my games and he, they wanted to have approach me earlier, but international commitments and all that. So it wasn't maybe it wasn't the right time, but at some stage it became the right time, you know, and I always feel everything works, everything happens for a reason. So I just think it, it was the right time to come and I just want to be here to help the team do well, you know, that's, that's, that's my thing. Yeah, no, that was, yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Um, I didn't get as much ball as, as I would have wanted in the game, but uh, I think, uh, I enjoyed that one, and the crowd went crazy, and it's it's it, it's it, it's a great feeling. It's preseason games, <laughs> legs are tired. You're not you're not used to playing full eighty minutes as yet, you know. So I was tired after the run, but I think as the season goes on, then it's gonna be much better. You know, the legs start to feel better because I mean, coming out of a preseason or. I was in a season coming straight into pre-season. I'm going back into a season. The legs do take a bit of a toll, but uh, I think as the season goes on, it's, it, it'll only get better. The engine will be... Well, no, definitely. I mean, he was a bit older than, than, than I am. And uh, he, we, when we grow up or when we grew up, um, you grew up looking at watching these guys and seeing what, you know, how, the kind of belief they have in themselves. I mean, Rio's never been the biggest guy, you know, but the things that he can do with a ball is next to nothing, you know, so that's that's the one thing that uh, that I was, I will say that I've always taken from Rio is, is he, his heart, you know, his belief in heart and um, always he left a, a great memory here or, or a great legacy here and I'm not trying to do anything on him, I'm just trying to do me, but Obviously, I'll take I'll take as much as I can from him in terms of believing myself and you know putting the team first as well always. Yeah, yeah. Is this teachers? <laughs> <laughs> More bloodied up. <laughs>